Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the Salesforce.com platform. So I am on Salesforce.com and my developer's account, and I'm using Salesforce Classic View. We can easily switch to the Lightning View just by clicking this Switch to Lightning Experience here, and I'm on the Setup page. So in this video, we want to import data into a custom object on Salesforce, specifically the engineer object, which I recently created. So this is my custom object. And we want to import the data from a CSV file into this custom object. So let's go ahead and get started by first clicking on data management. And here it gives us multiple options. We can use the data import wizard to import data or use data loader. Now if we use the data import wizard, we are or we cannot upload more than 50,000 records. All right. So anyways, we're going to use the data loader here. So click on data loader. And if you don't already have it downloaded onto your computer, if you have a Windows PC, you can just click this link that says Download Data Loader for Windows. And if you have a Mac, you can click the link that says Download Data Loader for Mac. Now, I already downloaded this application. You can easily find it by going to your search and just typing in Data Loader or remember where you installed the application once you download it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And because this is a brand new object, I want to insert new data into the application. And I want to use the custom object engineer. And now we will choose the file to import our data from. So I'm going to import the data from this file. And I'm going to click Next. And it tells us that uh, our operation will contain 1,470 records, which is OK. And now we can see all the columns here in our CSV file. And let's create or edit a mapping from our CSV file to the fields in our custom object. So right now, we have no mapping. We would see them in the names column here if we did. That would match with the file column header. And below here, this right here area, is the CSV file um, headers or columns. And up top here is the custom objects columns. All right, so I'm going to click auto match fields to columns so that Salesforce will automatically match the fields that it can. So you can see match gender with gender underscore underscore C and hourly rate with hourly rate underscore underscore C. Okay, but I also want it to match age, so I'm just going to take the age up here and drag it down into the names column here. And then I want it to also match the department. And I'm going to take the DP underscore underscore C and match it with the department here. All right. So now that's good. Now, something that I did on purpose was I made gender a number in my Salesforce org. And the gender on the CSV file is, of course, a word. It's a word male or female. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. This will give us an error, but that's as expected. Uh, just so you can see for the video what we need to do. So I'm going to click OK here. And we can see our mappings. And let's go ahead and click Next. And we can click Finish. And it says, you have chosen to insert new records. Click Yes to begin. Do you want to succeed? Yes. And that's going to attempt to load or insert the data into our org. Right now, what you can see is there are zero successes and 1,470 errors. So that's not good. And sorry about that. So what we can do here is we can see the errors by clicking View Errors here. And we can scroll to the right. And we can see the error message in the error column. And it says gender invalid number female. So I'm going to click Close here. And I'm going to click OK here. And we could do one of two things. We could either change that field to be a text for a word, or we can just ignore it completely. So in this case, I'm just going to ignore that field so we can continue with the video. And I'm going to go back here, choose my engineer object. I'm going to choose the CSV file that I want. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to create and edit my mapping. I'm going to choose auto match fields again and I'm going to drag the age 
and the DEP to department. And this time I'm going to get rid of the gender. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to put that there. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to put it back up top here. All right. And now I'm going to click OK and click Next here and Finish. And it says you have chosen to insert new records. Click Yes to begin. Do you want to succeed? Yes. All right. So now there are 400, 600, 800 successes, 1,200, 1,400, 1,470 successes and zero errors. So now we can view the success. And we can see that uh, everything looks good here. So status item created for all of these. Okay, so I'm going to click close. I'm going to click OK. And now let's go ahead and view this data. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to my developer console. All right. And down here, I'm going to click Query Editor. And we want to select, oh, let me make sure that is typing. There we go. Select the um, ID, the name, the H underscore underscore C, the department. underscore underscore C and oh maybe I did too many underscores nope underscore underscore C and uh, what else do we have on that object let's see here I can just go to my custom objects so I'm going to get rid of that there go to create and objects and I can go to engineer here and I can see what other object, uh, what other fields we had on there. So we had gender, but we did not uh, do anything with gender, but we have hourly rate as well. So I'm going to choose the hourly rate underscore underscore C from our engineer object, which is a custom object. So we have the underscore underscore C. And then we want to execute this. So the query has to start with select. I thought it did. S-E-L-E-C-T. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, execute it now. So I had to get rid of some white space. But now we can see all of this data that we just now imported from that file. And here it shows that there's a total of 1,470 records, which is the same number of, of rows that we imported into our custom object. All right. And that is basically it. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.